Hey, you want to lose weight without dieting? You're at the right place. My name is Meg Moranis. I'm the voice of this channel where we learn to eat intuitively. It's called Building Your Healthy Thin Mentality, and we respect your desire to lose weight eating intuitively. Not all programs do, but hey, it's reasonable to want to be at your happy weight, and I'll show you how to get there. So, by popular demand, I'm going through parts of our workbook because, uh, like I said, by popular demand. So, it looks like this. And we also have this in an online course. But um, yeah, this is based on my journey out of diet mentality thinking. And this, for me, was in the year 2000. And um, I kind of went through it. And I journaled a lot during that. And so when I realized the incredible, immense joy and happiness that you get when you stop dieting, and that you know dieting doesn't work, it just makes you a dieter, I created this workbook to help my fellow dieters out of the diet industry and so they could stop taking our money and that little piece of your soul that dieting takes and that's not too dramatic you know what I'm talking about so um, when you're making the transition from a dieter to a healthy thin mentality person an intuitive eater a normalized relationship with food and eating you got to do a few things because first first you're going to get rid of your diet mentality. You're just going to melt that out of your brain and you will love it. And you're going to get rid of the thoughts that are in there cooking right now. Like, oh, how many, you know, how are my macros balanced? And wh what time is it? Is it my eating window? All these things. You're going to go bye bye. You don't work. All you do is make me obsessed. You're going to say, see ya. Don't need ya because you don't. But you, when you do that, you know, there's a second step that's really important. You have to put something in that void. You can't just say, I'm an intuitive eater now. I just eat what I want when I want. Because that's you've been not eating normally for years or decades, for me, 25 years. So it's a, it's a very big step to go from all that controlled diet talk to eating intuitively. You got to have a little path there. And that's what building your healthy thin mentality is all about. So you replace the diet mentality thoughts with healthy thin mentality thoughts, thoughts that will protect you from situations like you go out to lunch and your best friend just lost 10 pounds on a diet and you go, oh God, I better diet. I clearly need to diet. Yeah, you need to understand what, what's really going on there and how to avoid the trap of falling back into being a dieter. And it is a trap, my friends. Quickly, I worked in the diet industry for Nutrisystem for a year, a long time ago, so please forgive me for that because I hate the diet industry. I did work in it. I was very young, didn't really know what was going on. I was only 22, but uh, I saw from the inside out that it's all about money. It's not about making you thin. It's about making you a customer for life because when you gained weight back, my manager looked at me and said, sell them another. And that's when my heart broke and I'm like, what? They did exactly what we said and you just want me to sell them another program now? No. So I left. Anyway. It still took me a while after that experience, I got to say, I don't say this enough, to s fully grasp that there is a way out. But all I knew was that Nutrisystem wasn't it. But they're all the same, my friends. They're all the same. Okay. So anyway, you need to replace your diet thoughts with healthy thin mentality thoughts. Again, a form of intuitive eating. The difference I see between healthy thin mentality eating and some of the other intuitive eating programs, I don't know them all, but um, there is a pushback on, you know, whether wanting to lose weight is legit. And yeah, it's legit in my book because it's, it's really fun and it's really nice to have the same clothes fit you year after year after year because you've gotten to your happy, healthy weight and you're stable there. And that's what I want for each and every one of you because that in itself is a joy, being at your happy weight and having it not be always threatening to leave you. Like, you know, after a diet, you lose some weight and you're like, oh, I, I'm good here. I'm at my happy weight. But then you're like, oh God, am I going to wake up tomorrow and be up three pounds? That's no way to live, my friends. That's no way to live. So we're going to train you out of that. So um, week one is, you know, you go through this and, and you, you have to understand when you're ditching your diet mentality, you got to understand how you got where you are in the first place. So there's some going through in your mind, um, you know, your past diet behavior, how many diets you've been on, all that kind of stuff. Because in order for you to escape diet industry thinking, you have to know how you got there. And you have to know how your body got where it is in a place where, where you're not that happy with it. Okay, so that's, that's something you have to consider right off the bat. And actually going through that, is really eye-opening and great, all right? 
But then when you get into the meat of the program, you need to have some of these aha moments, okay? And at the very beginning of the first week, one of my favorite, favorite healthy thin mentality mantras is nothing is fattening when you're hungry, everything is fattening when you are not. Think about that statement. Nothing is fattening when you're hungry, everything is fattening when you are not. That's so different than a diet mentality, but it's so much wiser and so much better. And think about that. When you're hungry and you're craving X hamburger, let's say, eat the hamburger. It's not fattening. Now, I'm not, we're not talking about perfect nutrition here and this hamburger have, you know, artery clogging fat. I know, I know, I know. We'll get to that. But when you're just making this transition, you know, you're only human. Let's do one thing at a time. The first thing is pairing eating with hunger and cravings with food. So in the beginning, when you're doing this initially, that one statement, that's, that's the week one, that's the, that's the key element of this week. Nothing is fattening when you're hungry. Everything is fattening when you are not. So anytime you have that ping of hunger and, and, and you kind of you let it bloom a little, right? You let it bloom and make sure you're hungry. And I know you're going, I don't know when I'm hungry or I'm hungry all the time. Again, no, you're not. You don't know yourself as a normal eater anymore because you've been a dieter and you only know yourself as a dieter or as someone in between diets when you know you're going to go back on the diet, right? So again, I got to talk about that a lot because you have all these assumptions about yourself that are not true. So you may think you're hungry all the time. I thought I was going to be hungry all the time as a matter of fact. No, you're not. Your body calms down after you stop abusing it with weird food restrictions and demonizing entire food groups. Everything calms down. It's, it's so nice. You're going to you're going to really like it. I, I don't know how else to say it. You're going to really like it. You're going to love it. No, you're not going to like it. You're going to love eating this way. Okay. So you, you have that thought, you have that thought in your head and you understand that when you're hungry and you're craving a hamburger, eat the hamburger and don't eat the kale salad instead. Cause it's more nutritious for you. Cause that's not going to do it for you. It may short term like, okay, yeah, this is pretty good. No, it's tasty. But that craving that you have for hamburger is answering some need that you have. And you may say, well, how does my body know what I need? How does your body not know what you need is the better question, right? How does your body not know? How does somebody who wrote some book about nutrition or anything know more than what's going on between your head and your body? Any scientist, anybody in science or anybody who's... Um, has anything at all to do with neurochemistry and your brain and, and the magic that goes on up here. There's nothing that humans have ever created that even um, rivals this a little bit. This is fantastic. And its connection to your body is fantastic. Do not ignore her, Mother Nature. Do not. She takes revenge on you when you do and sends you binges, right? That's what she's doing. So when you eat, when you're hungry, what you crave, your body goes, thank you. And it calms down. And you do that a few times in the first 12 weeks of your healthy, thin mentality. You're going you're gonna to be massively surprised by how, oh, wow, I'm not restricting. I'm not telling my body to have carrots when I want peanut butter or vice versa. And my body is like, is not beating me up with bizarre cravings or, or always being hungry. You know, when I match hunger in the day, I don't have those weird nighttime binges anymore. You're going to love, we're not there yet. You're going to love that. But anyway, so just take, take this first week to have that thought in your head. When I say first week, the, the, the chapters are way longer than this, but I'm just saying, I'll be back next week and just keep thinking about this and how beautiful that statement is. And look around at your life. Like when you used to judge food, well, that's fattening. Oh, that's not fattening. That is too fattening if you're not hungry. And that is not fattening if you are. Okay, get that thought percolating in your head. Make it be a main tenet of how you live. And A, it's way more fun. B, it's completely sustainable for the rest of your life. And C, you'll be the person at the party enjoying the food instead of the one afraid to go to the buffet. You know, if you've done that, gone to a party and like sat away from the buffet so you wouldn't be tempted. Yeah, you don't need to do that ever, ever, ever again. Come visit me on TikTok. I'm there a lot. Um, Instagram, all these will be linked below and private Facebook group and on our uh, healthythinmentality.com, our uh, website. And please like, share, and subscribe. Help me get this message out there. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.